What's going on, gang? I tried to get myself a fade, but uh, that ain't a fade, Bubba. My guard, my low guard got away from me and I, yeah. I mowed the front yard a little too much. So I went ahead and just shaved it off. So when I get home, my wife, she's not gonna be happy. So if I go missing, it's because my hair went missing. Anyways, I'm up here at the gym tonight, my work gym, and uh, this place is awesome, man. I come up here by myself a lot of times in the evenings. Uh, not a lot of times, I don't wanna lie, but I do work out a lot in the evening. Sometimes I come up here just get alone. Here's the thing, <clears throat> we have a lot of people uh, trying out their temp workers, their flex workers, but this is a benefit, being able to work out in our gym you only get this benefit if you're full-time, if you're in the family. You're only given this opportunity, you're only given this uh, benefit, you're only given this opportunity to have power if you are already in the family, the JM family, and on, you know, on the team. Uh, I wanna use an analogy here to explain. I have some of my friends who are not Christians, they're not in the family of God, and so they hear me talk about, you know, the do's and don'ts of Christianity and things they should do that are wise and unwise. And, um, you know, you should do this and not do this. All these rules and these, this religion, these, these rules. And um, they get trying to do it. They get to uh, trying to behave like a Christian, uh, but they're not a Christian. And so they're trying to behave and imitate Christianity and follow all the rules and they're 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 imitating Jesus and they're um, acting like Jesus but they're not actually Christians and so how does all this make sense here's the thing I've said this many times and I'll say it again God is three in one the Trinity so God is God the Father and there's God the Son, Jesus Christ, and there's God the Holy Spirit. Now, um, if you've ever seen an ice cube, and if you've ever had a glass of water, and if you've ever been in front of a mist fan, or if you have a vape, then you understand that water is, you know, comes in three forms. It's still water, it's still, you know, but it's three different forms. You can have a solid, you can have a liquid or you can have a, a gas and so one in three different forms and that is a that's not a perfect analogy but it's a similar analogy to what god is god is three in one he is god the father god the son and god the holy spirit now <clears throat> here's here's where all this begins to make sense in the same way that temp workers or people that are trying to act like they are a part of JM family. They're trying to be imitators of the, of the way of JM family. They do not have all of the benefits of actually being in the family. They don't have the benefit of being able to come into this gym and get the power that the full-time associates, the family members get. And in the same way, people that are trying to imitate Christianity and trying to imitate the, the Jesus Christ, the, the, the God way of Christianity, they have not been given the benefit of the Holy Spirit who gives them the power to live out the Christian life. And so if you are not a Christian and you're trying your best to imitate Christ and you're trying to behave like a Christian, but you're not a Christian, then I'm sure you've ran into this issue because you've, if you're being honest, you would say, well, I don't really, deep down, I don't want to do these things. And I don't understand these things. Like, it don't make sense. Like, you sound kind of crazy. Like, I know morally, maybe I should live like this. I mean, it seems like a, a better way to live, but it's just, I don't, I just do it to do it. I, I don't love it. I don't really want to do it. And I don't feel like there's anything real about it. It's just, it's like, you know, just acting. And to be honest, that's exactly what it is. Um, you see, we talk about oxygen and all humans that, you know, have gone to school and who have heard, you know, grown up, they understand that the thing that we live off of is oxygen. We breathe it in and we exhale it and, and this magical thing happens where, you know, we, in, we inhale oxygen and carbon dioxide, I think. I'm, it's late. I'm, 
I'm tired, I don't have much oxygen in my brain, so I can't think too clear, but basically this invisible power uh, animating force comes into us and gives us power to live and move and breathe. Now, spiritually speaking, the Spirit of God, God in the form of Holy Spirit, God the Spirit must come and live in you and indwell you and come and live in you. And, and that is when you become a Christian, when, when God's Spirit comes and lives in you and you become one with Him. I know this sounds so crazy, but just hear me out. Um, if you can believe in oxygen, then there's a chance you can believe in God, the Holy Spirit. Now, when, when someone behaves like a Christian or tries to behave like a Christian, apart from being empowered by the Holy Spirit, like if you're not a Christian, then you have not been given the benefit of the empowering Spirit of God in you to effortlessly behave like a Christian because God's Spirit is what empowers you and enables you to love Him and love people and changes your heart, gives you new desires, cleanses your heart, begins to work on your mind and your, your, your desires, your attitude. He changes you from the inside out as I wipe the sweat from my bald head. But until you receive the Spirit of God, it's going to be impossible to behave like a Christian consistently because, for one, you don't have the same Spirit as God who, who wrote the Scriptures and empowered men to write the Scriptures. You don't desire the same things. And, and you can say you do, but it's not going to be consistent because it's not who you are yet. But once you receive the Spirit of God and He changes your heart and your mind and you become one with God and your thinking and, and your emotions and your soul, as crazy as it sounds, that's when you're going to realize, oh my goodness, like I've changed. My heart has changed. My mind has changed. I think about things differently. Uh, I want things differently. Um, my dad, for example, uh, just as an example, my dad um, went to church and he was a good man. Um, but when he was 30 years old, he... Um, became a Christian like before that he he just went to church you know my mom was a Christian my dad was not he went to church he did the thing he was a good guy morally good guy always been a great guy phenomenal guy but he didn't become a Christian until he was 30 years old and he told me that after he became a Christian that's when the way he puts it he felt like you know God had him under a magnifying glass. In other words, he, like when he would cuss or when he would do things, then he, now he felt conviction. Now he felt, man, God is with me. And God began to change his heart. He changed his heart. And then if anyone knows my dad, you would say, he's incredible. He's one of the best human beings you'll ever meet. <clears throat> but God's spirit does something in you that changes your heart, that changes your desires, that enables you and empowers you to live a life like Christ, that, that, that you actually want to, deep down, to live a life that honors God. And when you do things that don't honor God, you feel a sense of conviction. You grieve the Holy Spirit. God in you is sad, and you feel it. You've made God sad in you because you have done things that go against His way and His Word. Now, the other part of the Spirit is that it, the Bible itself teaches that... Um, the natural man or the man without the Spirit of God will not understand spiritual things. And that's why if you're listening to me now and you are not a Christian, then most likely you're thinking less is insane. Like he's crazy. Like that dude, what he's saying is it makes no sense. It's insane. It's actually ridiculous. And I just don't get it. It just sounds so crazy and stupid and ignorant. And wow, he's he's and, and look. But it says, but, but the man, the spiritual man, the man that has been given the Spirit of God, understands and can receive and bear witness with spiritual truths. And so if you're listening to this and, you, and it's repulsive to you and you say, well, I just totally think this is insane and, and ridiculous, then, then chances are you are not a spiritual being. In other words, you are not a genuine Christian because God's Spirit is not in you yet. And... And that may sound harsh, but <clears throat> I say this to encourage you. If you're trying to behave like a Christian and you find that you can't, it's because you're not a Christian yet. The Spirit of God is what changes your heart. The Spirit of God is what changes your mind. The Spirit of God is what enables you and empowers you to live the Christian life. You can't 
imitate. You can't fake it. You can't. It's not about religion. It's about a real spiritual birth, a real spiritual life-giving spirit that, that comes and changes you and that God lives with you and in you and you have this faith relationship where day to day you walk with God and he walks with you. <coughs> I know this is crazy sounding, but here again, just to close this out, I just dare you to trust me. If you know me, if you're one of the people on here that listen to my videos and that know me as a person, I hope by now you know that I'm not some crazy, weird freak, you know, and that if you're my friend, you know, uh, I hope you know that I genuinely care about you and I'm not, I'm not one to lie to people. I'm not one to, um, to set people up. I'm not one to, you know, to lead people astray. And I don't say that arrogantly. I just, I care about my friends. And so I'm just telling you, you can't give Jesus a test drive. You can't, you can't test drive Christianity. You can't just try it out. Like you have to go all in that. Like you have to, if you don't go all in and, and be born again and, and the spirit of God come and live in you and give you a new heart and a new mind and change, put his spirit in you, you will not have the power or the desires consistently. You won't, you won't have the same spirit in you that longs to live for God, your father. So I just want to encourage you, go all in because you can't, you can't put your toes in the water and not go all in and just behave like a Christian. You're going to have to become one before you can behave like one. So uh, I love you guys. Um, I hope that you don't think I'm too weird. Uh, I know it doesn't help that I'm bald if I just had a mustache and nothing else on my face. That would be the only way I looked any stranger. But uh, anyways, you'll get the benefit of the Spirit of God once you become a Christian, but not a second before. Love you guys. Peace.